Hey guys, welcome to another episode of CRG Plays. So, last week we had a look at an old Amiga game, the Chaos Engine, converted to 3D on the PC. So this week I thought we'd crack out the old Commodore 64 and take a look at a modern PC game converted to the C64. So let's just load the file browser here. And if we go down to games, today we're going to be having a look at Portal. That's right, Val Smash Hit first person puzzler game has been converted to the Commodore 64. Let's check it out. How cool is that? Aperture Science. Press space. Portal. Code by Jamie Fuller, graphics by Dale Seymour, and music by Roy Whitting. All copyright belongs to Valve. Yes it does. But this does look pretty awesome so far. I love that effect of the, on the O of the portal, changing between blue and orange. Right, so how do we get started? F1, start using the 1351 mouse. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those, so I well, can't do that. F3, start using the joystick. We've got the joystick plugged in, so that's what we'll be doing. F5, for entering a level code. And F7, to view the help docs. Who needs help? Let's press F3 and get started. There's GLaDOS. Hello and welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Please proceed to the chamber lock and mind the gaps. Yeah, there's absolutely no chance you're getting me doing a GLaDOS impersonation. I do apologize, but it ain't happening. So, how do we control shell? Use the keyboard to move her about, so it's D for right, A for left, W jumps. The joystick controls just the portal device itself, so you see the big cursor in the middle of the screen there. You move it about with the joystick and fire just with the trigger. So these things on the ground down here are like your aerial faith plates from the portal game. So you hopefully can use those to bounce across to this over here, which is the chamber exit. Nice and easy to start. An Aperture Science weighted storage cube can be delivered on demand. Press E to activate or carry things. Okay. So here's one of the big floor buttons. You can see if I stand on that, it's opening the door. Here's one of these weak buttons. Oh, I fell out of the map. Oh dear, I fell out of the map. Alright, so we need to quit out of that quickly. And back in. There we are. Try that again. And try not to fall out this time. So we push this button here. It drops a cube, as you can pick up, put it on the button, symbols. You are also in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it you can create your own portals. Portals can only materialize on light grey blocks. Okay. Right, so here's an orange portal already on this side, so what we need to do is fire a blue portal on that side. That's pretty cool we effect, the way the flash like that. Let's go. Cool. Oh look at that, there's a, a turret up here. Cake and grief counselling will be available at the end of the test. I hope you're not telling any lies GLaDOS. Alright, so we can drop another weighted storage cube. And there's one of those big buttons there. Excellent. Now, how do we get past this turret looking fellow? Two portals there, but I don't know if there's much point in that, is there? Can we just jump over him, you think? Let's try it. Come on! Yes! 
frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now, would we? Will we quit? I don't think we will. Oh, here. Maybe we should have quit while we were ahead. Right, so pay more attention. There's a button here, so that which obviously opens that wall. We'll just jump over that. Now, we need to get across to this side. So we should have portal. Look at this here. There's a light grey block up here, so we should have portal there. And then we can use that to go through. And thank you. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol. That's good to know, GLaDOS. Thank you. Didn't you say something similar to that in the real game? That's something to do with uh, emancipation grills. Another pretty easy level. I think graphically this Wii conversion is absolutely excellent for the C64. I really love that animation that GLaDOS is moving about. That's brilliant. So what's she saying? That pesky turret. If only you had something that could obscure his line of fire. Giving away hints, are we, GLaDOS? And even the way this has been designed. You know, it looks like the wall paneling that you had in the real game. and. Uh, you know, these wee details up here, it's similar to what was in the real game, showing you the, what chamber you're in. And I just think it's really well done. <laughs> Red walls. Yes, there's something special about them. You can't go through, but maybe something else can. Okay. So let's just see. Right, so I cannot walk through a red wall. Can I shoot a portal through? Yes. Right. So I need to get a blue portal here then, so I can go back through. But if you notice the cursor's orange at the minute, so to change that, you press R on the keyboard. And I, oh, that's a wee bit confusing that. There we are. Easy. I don't think you're tall enough for this game. Have you tried standing on your tippy toes? Are you alright? Right, so I need to get across to this side, obviously. And there's two light grey blocks, so we'll shoot a portal there first. And then I need to shoot a portal up here. So, obviously what GLaDOS was referring to, I can't jump and make that. Nope. But we can use our aerial faith bit. Why do these chambers look strange? You try doing this with just 8 bits or 8 bits conversion of a game such as Portal. I think this looks absolutely awesome. And plus that uh, Commodore 64 trademark SID chip is uh, playing some pretty awesome music as well. You'll need to time this jump perfect. I hope you don't frustrate easily. Oh dear, that doesn't sound promising. Right, so how do we get past this? Well, I push this. Ah! So I push that a new cube drops and I have the time the cube takes the drop to get across this. Right, so let's go for it. Ah, no! Water. Alright, so that's what she's obviously getting at timing the jump, so let's see. Nope. Oh, so close! Right, we're gonna do this time. I can feel it. No! Fifth time, Loggy! Uh huh. Yes, it only takes six attempts. Don't go firing that portal gun without 
thinking precision is the aim of the game. Okay. Right, so the only place I can fire the portal gun is there. Let's go over here and get our block. So if I drop that there, and if you remember, those blocks obscure the turret's line of sight, so let's just take our hand. And I can shoot a portal there, and up here. Excellent! Silly question, but can you walk on water? Uh, no, we're not the Jesus on ease. Little Amiga reference for anyone. Anyone that doesn't get it, uh, check out Jesus on ease on YouTube. It's a pretty awesome demo. And what have I done? I have went and locked myself in here, haven't I? But I can't jump out of here, and I can't shoot a portal to two get out of here. Uh huh. So if you find yourself stuck in that situation, just press run stop, it takes you back to the main menu, and then you can go back into the game and start you from where you were. Right, so we obviously need to come across here and shoot the portal up here first. That's the wall, and I've took the portal away up the top. Oh, try again. That's where it's easier using the mouse, because you just use the left or the right mouse button to fire the, the blue or the orange portals the way you do in the real game. You sort of forget that using the joystick. Nice, try harder this time. There we are. I'm going to take that away. wonder if I carry this the whole way to the chamber lock. Does it do anything differently? And when you see it get it vaporized. So if you notice the turret here is pointing right. So if I was just to drop here now, you would kill me on the way down. So what I need to do is jump across and then drop down here. No, nothing different bringing the, the cube to the chamber lock. Oh well. A complimentary death machine will fall from above. How nice of you, GLaDOS. Complimentary and all. Right. So what are we doing here? Ah, the chambers are starting to get a bit more tricky. Right, so I think I know what I'm doing here. I need to get a portal up here. So I can get across and drop down to the chamber lock. So I need to leave that there. But how am I going? I just can't run. I can't go this way because he's going to kill me. So shoot a portal there. Come on here. If I go through that door, will he shoot me? Let's see. No. Let's see it here. Excellent. And a blue one here. Yet. Perfect. No one will blame you for giving up. In fact, quitting at this point is a perfectly reasonable response. We have never quit anything, GLaDOS. We're coming for you. Right, so these things block the turrets from gunfire, so if I put that there, then that should, uh, Drop our turret, or block our turret friend. Can I jump over? Oh yes. Quit now and cake will be served. Immediately. Did I not hear something about the cake being a lie, GLaDOS? Right, so... So we know these cubes block the turrets fire, so can I just drop down here? No. Try that again. So if I maybe drop it and try to go right this time without I'm dropping it. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. Right, come on, third time to charm. Let's do it. 
Oh yes. Oh no, how'd she get me? Right. Maybe I know what I need to do. So if I jump, drop it like that. Now if I drop down. Oh yes. Can't get me. I should hit the face with my turret gun. Oh yeah. Green walls are like red walls, only completely different. Well, that makes perfect sense. So what's completely different? I can walk through them this time, but I cannot shoot through them. Is that what he's talking about? Yep. Right, so we need to get this thing here. So we'll shoot a portal there and on the floor. And I obviously need to put this on that button. Then we need to shoot our orange portal up here. Simple. Credit where credit's due. You're doing a great job of disappointing me. Why, thank you, GLaDOS. Oh, portal there. Portal here. This actually reminds me of one of the later chambers in uh, the actual portal game. You know, the one we have to shoot the portals at the, the different landings and use your momentum to get between them. Nearly there. There's only 20 chambers in this game. Right. I'm just going to jump up here, nice and careful. And then if I shoot one, shoot a portal back here. And I shoot a portal here. Simples. Last, last chamber. Back up and get this. And then, uh, I assume we just need to put that there. Yep. And then we need to shoot our blue portal here. And that, my friends, is the end of Portal on the Commodore 64. How much fun was that? And to finish off, we are treated to a lovely rendition of Still Alive. Well there we are guys, thanks for watching another episode of CRG Plays, that was really enjoyable, I really recommend anyone interested in trying this to check it out for themselves, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, it's free to download and play, you can't even play this online in your browser, albeit today we have been using the real Commodore 64 bread box machine. So until next time guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.